What was AJ doing that made him so effective? He's good. He's good. Should have brought him in the game earlier. That's my mistake. Uh, but he's good. And uh, he's also building a little confidence. You can kind of see a little bit more relaxation and a little bit more swagger, whatever you want to call it, as he gets out there more and more often. But he's always been a kid that's blessed with good composure. Or at least he pays attention to that category maybe and has good composure as well. Pulled along for Beam today. What was the decision to kind of go with him in the fifth? Yeah, fastball location was probably, um, you know, the thing that was off that I know of just from, you know, paying attention from my end. Maybe there was something else. Um, and then the fifth inning, pitch count was down. He, he put up his first zero and kind of had to look in the eye like he was determined. And, he, you know, we get the first hitter out, but um, it didn't work out our way there. And then it kind of steamrolled or uh, spiraled, however you want to phrase it. It's been a pretty stark difference in his numbers at home and the road. Is there anything you point that to? You or know, just... I don't know because it wasn't the case last year, and that's a bigger sample size at this point, at least by one weekend. Um, and, of course, he was good in California. It's a neutral site game, so – um, for me, he's given us a chance to win every time out, uh, just the last two weekends, this weekend, uh, and then the previous time we are on the road. Uh, didn't have his best stuff and also, you know, had some unfortunate things happen. Was uh, Chase Burns available this weekend? Uh, he was sore, so it was kind of day-to-day. So there were moments where we were, you know, talking about it and moments where we're not. So he'll be fresh and ready to rock and roll next weekend. What type of spark did Cal give you both behind the plate and then at the plate? Yeah, he was good. I mean, that was a swing that put us right back in the game, and you guys brought up the fifth inning. You know, you feel like it's, um, you know, a tie game, five innings left to play on their field, and, and they get the at-bat in, in that inning. Uh, it was going to be a big one with the top of the order. And so didn't go our way. Could have made a couple better pitches. Could have maybe made a little bit better uh, stuff on defense and then a uh, better job by me as well. What was kind of the miss of the team out there right after the game? I know you'll talk more, you know, heading home. Yeah, um, you know, just to make sure they handle business. we got to start a new week, which means classroom finals begin this week. Uh, nothing you can do about changing the game. So do what we got to do, shower up, get back on the road, and, and we get back to Knoxville and we play four, four games in a row, five if you count the following week. But we're just focused on this week in front of our home crowd, which we like. Um, but there were some things to take away. There's always something to take away. And uh, maybe one on offense and, and maybe one just as a team. Uh, but they had the right attitude, the right approach all three days. We played much better than we did on the road. And no one, including me, wants any consolation or any crap like that. But it was a much better effort on the road. Seemed like a lot of hard hit outs. Did you like the approach offensively? Yeah, I mean, Ensley, you know, hits that one. And uh, if it gets down, we take the lead. You never know with young kids how confidence can sway back and forth. Um, and that's been a difficulty for us is maybe maintaining that. And again, this weekend, even though there were some quirky things happen and some difficult things and we made some mistakes, the guys kind of maintain that pushing forward approach. And that's what you got to keep in this game because it will not go your way sometimes, no matter, you be Trout, you be whoever you want. It's not going to go your way sometimes. Jared Dick, another three hits here today. I mean, he's been huge at the top of the lineup and, and played well this weekend. What have you seen from him? Yeah, more than anything, a couple of those at-bats today were just determination. Um, you know, we kind of got a chance to uh, tie the game there with a guy at second base, two outs, and he hits the ball off the pitcher's shoe. Um, it wasn't like he cranked it or anything. He did hit it hard, but just trying to shoot it through the middle and, and tie up the ball game with a quality at bat. And then at, there at the end, um, you know, just to get on base, he took two bad, or I'm sorry, one bad swing uh, and then fouled a good pitch off and just did whatever he had to do to battle. And it was a good approach with two strikes. Uh, hit one with uh, kind of seeing eyes there. Tough weekend for Blake at the plate. Just what do you see go wrong for him? Um, just outside of himself. You know, Frank chimed in, um, you know, to him. It, your head's going to move a lot when you're, you're when you're running at the baseball. And um, unfortunately, we didn't see the swing that took place in BP uh, the prior three days because it's probably the best one fundamentally uh, that we had going on in BP with all due respect to everybody else. But um, for whatever reason, had, a, had looked like he was trying to conquer the world today. And that's kind of the flip opposite of what we just talked about. Um, not that Dickey did everything right and Burke didn't, but, uh, you know, just kind of trying to get the job done has been a theme that these guys have attached themselves to the last three weeks where we've been playing a lot better baseball. Last one, goes. Griff, getting a couple starts on back-to-back -back days. Uh, what have you seen from him at the plate, and, and how close is uh, Tears? Yeah, he gives us maturity, and, and KT was available this weekend. Um, you know, a little hesitant. It's, it's good we bought him some more time, kind of like the other guy we mentioned. Uh, maybe a situation or two we should have used him, uh, but now at least we know going full forward he's he's full strength. Uh, despite the fact we didn't use him this weekend, we possibly could have. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Tony.